A homecoming for a soldier can leave an impression that lasts a lifetime, even when that homecoming has been more than 60 years in the making for this Korean War veteran. This kind of a welcome is so, so beyond my even thoughts or expectations or whatever, I mean, I mean, I, I just can hardly believe it. Not all homecomings for soldiers have been quite so welcoming. Some Vietnam veterans paid the price for many citizens angered by their country's military involvement. We come home, people were throwing rocks at us, beer bottles, cans, spitting at us, calling us baby killers, women killers. We was, we was treated worse than you treat dirt. Others returned home from foreign soil to a nation distracted or disinterested. There was no, nobody here, no fanfare. Family and church, yeah, that's it. Nobody, no, no, no nothing. Those homecoming experiences affect some veterans for better or for worse. I think it is the potential kicking off to something that could be very good for them and, and restorative, or if done badly, could, could cause pain for decades. Through the years, the attention paid to the soldiers in battle and after the battle has changed. And it's so different than World War II, where everybody was in the game with, with more serving, victory gardens on the home front, and scrap metal. And now, half a percent serve, so most people don't pay much attention to what goes on because it doesn't affect them. But do homecomings really affect veterans? Two Omahans believe they do. They organized the Heartland Honor Flight Project to recognize the service of World War II and Korean veterans. It's a belated homecoming of sorts, and a thank you many veterans are only now getting. Henry, thank you for your service. I feel like every one person can make a difference. So just one person saying thank you for your service can just change someone's life. St. Mary's Catholic School sits in the shadow of Nebraska's state capitol. Inside, the 7th and 8th grade students are studying about America's involvement in the Korean War. They fought for not only America, but for South Korea, which is because we didn't need to help South Korea. We, we helped them because we cared about it. We didn't want North Korea just to completely destroy another country. The students write letters to the Korean War veterans on the Heartland Honor Flight. It's an airlift of sorts, taking veterans from Nebraska to see the memorials in Washington, D.C. The students create special welcome banners. Ours was home of the brave. Most of us were, they were mostly talking about freedom and bravery and the courageous stuff the veterans have done. They also carefully select words for poems they hope will capture the experience of the soldier in a battle far from home. War, cold, bombings. Anxiety, heart racing. What happens next? Miss family, wanted to go. The warmth of friends. Praying for you, I'll fight for you forever. What stood out was the fact that nobody respected the soldiers who came home and that was very upsetting for me because it, a lot of the times they didn't have the choice they were drafted or they had signed up before that war had come up, so it wasn't necessarily their fault. These Korean War lessons mix writing, art, and history. But teacher Scott Bendler wants the real lesson learned by his students to extend well beyond the classroom. That um, those people that are willing to put on a uniform and potentially take a bullet for this country should receive the utmost respect and that we always need to make sure that we thank them for their service, thank them for their sacrifice. The students get the chance a few days later to deliver that thank you in person. With letters, poems, and artwork in hand, they board a bus to Omaha. That's where they spend an afternoon welcoming the 460 Korean War veterans and their families from across Nebraska to the Honor Flight Banquet the day before the trip. As part of the program, they lead the veterans in the national anthem. I 
I hope that it has some sort of effect on them and that um, we'll be able to portray enough patriotism and emotion to kind of move them because I don't want it to be just another song for them.